Hey doing everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today video we're looking at the best plants to battle ammonia. So let's get into it. Everyone, so yeah, today we are looking at the best plants to absorb ammonia. As you all know, or if you don't know, if you're a newbie, you don't really understand what's going on. Ammonia is highly toxic to fish. Um, you want to be keeping your levels at zero parts per million. If it's at 0 0.25 ppm, it's still present. It's still going to cause some problems eventually. So yeah, really try and get it down to zero parts per million. By adding plants, you're going to ma help massively. So yeah, today I'm going to show you what plants I use, I've used in the past, that I think you should try if you're battling ammonia or if you want to basically get some beneficial plants in the tank, uh, even though they're all beneficial, but yeah, want to get some nice growth going, absorbing that ammonia, keeping the fish happy. So yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's go. So the first part of the day is going to be horn wool. Um, you can't beat horn when it comes to ammonia. It's super fast growing. It can grow up to four inches in a week. It grows in low light, it grows in high light. It's, it's unbelievable stuff. So yeah, horn wool is definitely number one choice for absorbing nitrogen, absorbing nitrates, absorbing ammonia. It's fantastic. Next part on the list is gonna be Elodia Denza. For those who don't know, you can actually put it in the pond as well. It's a pond plant as well. It grows super, super tall, like over 100 centimeters. It's ridiculous in size. It grows in high, low light as well and high light. Easy care plant. It's oxygenating plant as well, so it's super beneficial in that way. So that is our second choice today. So my third choice today is one of my favorites is Brazilian Pennywort. This plant looks beautiful in the tank. If you look at the leaves, they're like lily pads. They're so, so nice. It's great for absorbing ammonia. It grows in low light. Again, the higher the light, the harder growth speed, the more it's going to absorb. So obviously, I would recommend having a high light on it. It's going to absorb those ammonias and nitrates and nitrogen super, super quick. Keep growing. You can propagate by cutting it and replanting it. It's really, really good. So yeah, that's my third choice for those battling ammonia. My next choice is going to be Salvinia natans, which is a floating plant. Again, with floating plants, they absorb natural carbon dioxide from the air, so you haven't got to worry about injecting CO2. It, they grab it from the air naturally. Um, it's super fast growing as well when under high light. Again, the faster growth rate, the more it absorbs the ammonias and nitrates and all that sort of stuff. Great for your tank. Looks really nice. Also great for fryer. So yeah, that's the fourth choice today. Definitely try that one out. And the last choice I think you should all try out will be moss. Um, moss is great. It grows in low light, high light. It absorbs high numbers of nutrients as well. Great plant, looks good, good for shrimp, good for fryer. So yeah, that's all the plants I recommend for trying out if you're battling ammonia. Again, plants are so beneficial. Running alongside your filter, it's gonna absorb so much. It makes your life easier. You ain't got to worry about loads of water changes. I've left my tank for months, literally, just top up water. I don't do water changes as such. So yeah, plants are really good for that. And not only do they look good, but they're also beneficial. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, comment below and Thanks again. Cheers all.